Where are we today, y'all? What's up, Together Family? We are doing it again. That's right. We are cruising into port. Again, what port, you might ask? Well, this time, we are cruising into the Bahamas. Bimini. I say again, Bimini, Bahamas. This will be a first time for us. And if you haven't been, this will be a first time for you as well. As you can see off in the distance, I hope, as I try to zoom in, there's some land. That is Bimini, the island of Bimini here in the Bahamas. We're supposed to dock around 8 a.m. It is a little after 6, around 6.29 to be exact. That's right, Bimini, Bahamas. A nice looking sky. I hope you can see it in this in this video as well as I can see it in person. But there's a nice hue in the sky as the sun is about to come up. And of course, I am capturing it. Wait for it. On the GoPro. Hard at work once again. And that's how I get it those nice time-lapse views. We are at the very front of the ship here on deck six. Our cabin, of course, is on deck six as well. We are on board, again, the Carnival Liberty. First time on this ship. The ship was built in 2005. And I heard it was the very first carnival ship to receive the fun 2.0, 2.0 enhancements, which included Guy's Burger Joint, the Blue Iguana Cantina, and I believe the fun shops. I could be wrong on the fun shops, but I believe the fun shops as well, and some other things that they added to the ships at that time but this was the very first ship to receive those enhancements so we look down here and the crew member about to put the flag up here on the carnival liberty and just watch her for a second it's a beautiful morning it's, it's not as breezy as it was when we were cruising into Bermuda just a few weeks ago. Very nice, very nice. Hopefully that, that time lapse will give us a nice sunrise view. And up goes the fly. We should be there shortly. She'll be there shortly. We'll tie down. We'll get some breakfast. We'll hit the gangway. And we will be on the island of Bimini. The sun has risen, y'all. <laughs> How you like that? Hopefully this will look really nice on that on that GoPro time lapse view of the sun coming up from behind the clouds there. Oh, it's about to get warm now. Y'all, I think something is happening here. I thought we were gonna 
pull in to where that pilot boat, pilot boat is. Right in between those buoys. But it appears we are turning. And we're going to back in. This will be interesting. This is where the captain and his crew hangs out. As you can see, they're keeping an eye on things as we cruise into port. Hopefully I can get them to wave. Yeah, we got to wave. All right. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. That is called the bridge. <laughs> For those who didn't know. And this is what my hangout spot looks like. Oh, look, I can see the GoPro and the reflection on that glass. And of course, if you didn't know, this is Colonel Liberty. Those are the buoys we're backing in between. I should have gone up on the top deck and captured this, but I had to come back to the cabin to record or uh, to recharge my devices. And yeah, you can see the water stir it up as we the side thrusters as said we made that turn. You know what I say. Are you ready? We're ready. Let's go. Where are we today, y'all? As you can see, the ship over my big head. We are in, wait for it, Bimini. Get, we can ready to go swim with some sharks. I don't know about this. Stay tuned. That little boat right there, y'all. We're gonna board that boat and go over to the area where we will be where we will be swimming with the sharks. Stay tuned. It's gonna be interesting. Trust me.
Man, I'm gonna tell y'all. That shark looked up at me and it's like, I'm in your world, I'm getting out. <laughs> see you when I see you. I am not gonna be shark bait. But that was cool though, for the first time. That's a lot of work. That was cool. Yeah, that's what made me get out when he got that close. Yeah. And then his eyes, he rolled his eyes up and looked up at me. So I came and I caught swimming with the sharks. <laughs> Would you do it? I risked it again for you guys. For you. For you. For you. No, for you. Swimming with the sharks. <laughs> Feeding the sharks. Shark feed. Oh, look at that. Sorry. Look at that. You want to sit on your stuff? Break whatever you can play. Slipping. Put the bag on the floor and sit down. Throw something back here. Yeah, throw something back here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'll take one of those. And I was in the water with the yeah, I'm glad you those out there when we were out there, right? For real. Look how fast they move. Look how quick, yeah, how quick they are. Okay. Oh, okay. Now what happened was they actually planned to use this ship as a cargo and a troop ship, essentially. But the war ended, fortunately, before they were finished finalizing the ship. So what ended up happening was the U.S. military decided to sell it off to a wealthy Bahamian businessman by the name of Bruce Bethel. Now, Bruce Bethel decides that, you know what I'm going to do with this thing? I'm going to do some illegal activities. I'm going to turn it into a rum smuggling vessel during the Prohibition era, right? Now, he would actually smuggle rum through the Bahamian Islands and out into the United States back and forth basically for a good few decades, right? Now, while this was going on, Bruce Bethel heard about a very strong Category 5 hurricane that was traveling, so he decided to anchor his boat up into some deeper water near the shark tank where we just came from, right? Now, he left his boat alone, basically waited on shore. When he came back, he met his boat basically, you know, pushed all the way from over there, over here onto 15 feet of water, very shallow, grounded on the sandbank, right? So he's like, well, what do I do now to make my money? He's a very opportunistic guy, so he turns this thing into a floating casino. He also makes it a brothel, allegedly, <laughs> but I know for sure it was a drug storage unit as well. Now, he had people like Al Capone come down to grab a cocktail in the water and also solidify the drug use while they out there at the back of the SS Sakona. The U.S. military caught wind of all this illegal activity going on, and here's what they did. They ordered a strike on the SS Sakona. They dropped oh, some little mini bombs on here, and they also used it for target practice after which was, you know, forced Bruce Bethel to abandon his ship. Now, if you look along the side of the bow here and throughout the Sakona, you're going to see a lot of holes. I would tell you 90% of those holes are not from erosion, but from 50 caliber bullets shot at this ship for a good few days. Now, basically, with all these bullets and stuff being harvested while we're around, you know, the U.S. military still came around doing their due for a little while until allegedly they had a trio of planes fly over. You guys can research it. It's called Flight 19. The doctor under is called Flight 19. Right? They flew over to the SS Sapona to do their routine target practice and apparently the three planes vanished into thin air. So the last transmission that they allegedly got while they were leaving the United States was that we have the Sapona in flight and after that, you know, research teams were sent over. They never found any bodies, they never found any plane wreckages or anything, never got another transmission of any sort. And basically the US military is like, huh, that's a bit weird. Where is Bimini specifically again? They look at the map and they realize that Bimini is in the furthest end of the Bermuda Triangle that touches Florida. So they're like, you know what, I think it would be a good idea to just leave that place alone. <laughs> Thus, they just called the truce with the Bahamian government where they decided to leave the SS Sapona alone. Now it's a giant artificial reef where we have lots of fish swimming around. Turtles like to hang around here too, as well. 
and you can also snorkel in and around the structure. So you can actually go to the inside of the airport. Come on, granted, you don't touch any. with what's it? Bimini, Bimini Blue Adventures. They just took us on a shark swimming with the sharks. Yes, snorkeling snorkel with Caribbean adventure. Reef sharks. <laughs> that's the, who was the captain? Captain Cap Juno. Captain Juno. Hey. Deck hands, Brian. Deck hands, Terrell. Or you can call us guys in the water. Brian. All right. In the water. I like <laughs> that. Hey. Guys in the water. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. We appreciate thank it. Right. 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 Appreciate Take it. Care. Guys, have a good one. All right, thank you. Well, we made it, y'all. We went swimming with the sharks. And I'm here to tell the story about it or show it to you in the video. It was definitely an experience. Would I do it again? Yeah, maybe. But it got kind of scary there when they started getting close to me. You'll see it. So leave in the comments down below if you've ever swim with the sharks. Let us know. I have for my birthday. She doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for 
boat right there. You can board that. Every boat in Fort Lauderdale for somewhere around 300 bucks. And you can cruise to Bimini, stay overnight, and head back to Fort Lauderdale if you so choose to do so. For cool 300 bucks. We had no pier runners. Everybody was on time. As you can see, the Carnival wait staff is preparing to serve one of the favorite desserts in the main dining room, Baked Alaska, while receiving appreciation from its guests.
Thanks for watching. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the link in the lower left corner. If you want to see more videos, just click the link in the lower right corner. So until next time, peace.